One of my favorite popular hairstyles that I've seen on runways and red carpets in the last couple of years is the wet look. It's definitely not a new hairstyle. It's been around for a long time. It was around when I was a young girl and also I'm sure before that as well. But I think for fine, low density curls, this might actually be a look that benefits us because our hair naturally just wants to be flat at the roots, right? So I'm going to attempt to recreate the wet look on my fine curly hair and let's cross our fingers that it comes out good. Okay, so I am out of the shower. My hair is soaking wet. I don't normally put on this much makeup, but I just thought it would go really well with this look. So um, I did a heavier eye. So I'm gonna start by sectioning off my hair. I'm gonna split it in half over here and clip it up out of the way. Okay, so <clears throat> I watched a few YouTubers do this because um, I was, wasn't was sure exactly what people were using, but it seems like the agreement is that everybody is using a lot of gel at some point. So I am making sure that I use a lot of gel. Um, I just brought out some of my favorite products, um, products that I know that work, and then there's one product that I'm not sure how it's gonna work, but we're gonna try it because it is um, a curl stretcher. So that's what I'm gonna use. So what I have, I'm not sure if I'm gonna use everything. I'm just gonna see how it goes. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna use is a little bit of this Diva Curl Super Stretch. I've never tried it. Um, I wasn't going to try it in the past because it seemed a little too heavy for fine curly hair, but for this particular style, I kind of feel like it's going to benefit it. So um, we're gonna try it with this. Um, I also have Diva Curl's Ultra Defining Gel. I normally use the light defining gel, but I want um, a lot of hold for this look. And I also have some edge control. This is an old one. It's been in my cupboard for a long time, but this is the Curl's Blueberry Bliss Control Paste. Um, I have some duckbill clips or diva clips. Um, I just had those laying around. I thought I'd grab some. This one, this one's not a diva clip, but it's a little smaller. Um, so I can clip these on my ends to kind of keep that curl stretched. I have a detangling comb and a detangling brush just to make sure that there are no knots. And I have a smoothing toothbrush, an old toothbrush that I've used um, just to help lay down a little bit of my edges here. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna need it, but I do have this scarf that I use to kind of tie down my hair if I want it really smooth. So I'm not sure if I'm going to need it because my hair is fine and it just wants to lay flat naturally, but we'll see. So let me just start by adding some more water to make sure that my hair is soaking wet. I love this spray bottle. I'm going to link it down below. It's an affiliate link, um, but I do recommend I do recommend it for pretty much anybody that has curly hair. It's amazing. Okay, so now those curls are nice and wet. Right now I'm feeling like I want to put in the curl elongator. So um, I think I'll start with this, see how it does. It does smell like coconut. I know it contains coconut oil. So for those of you that hate coconut oil, do not use this. Um, but because it's going to help kind of weigh down my curls and keep them stretched, I am going to use it. And take a little bit more. And I did detangle my hair already in the shower, um, but I will be using my wet brush just to make sure that it's really smooth and everything stays in place. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my Diva Curl Ultra Defining Gel. And because I know this is where you need to go heavy, I am going to be using quite a bit on my curls. So I'm going to use some of the Curls Blueberry Bliss and I'm just going to smooth that here on the top here just to make sure that it lays flat. And I'll probably just bring it down halfway. I'm gonna use my detangling comb just to make sure that all knots are out and even the brush to really smooth down the style in the back. So let me see if I can turn around here so you can see.
it looks like it's clumping a little bit, which is fine, um, but it is nice and smooth and really shiny. So I'm gonna continue doing this all the way up till I get to the top. I'll decide where, which side I'm gonna part my hair or if I'm gonna wear it down the middle. I'm not quite sure yet. I'm thinking I'm going to do something right here because of my edges um, and I'll be slicking them out as well. so you can see why I parted my hair. I'm gonna go ahead and split this right here, flip this over, and I'm gonna smooth all this down. I don't want all of it to be flat, I just want everything underneath to be flat. So we'll go ahead and flatten this area and leave this just a little bit looser on top. I'm gonna to add a little bit more water. Here we go, those tangles are out. Add in the cream. really don't need a lot of it. Add in gel. And some of the pomade. And we're gonna slick all this down. And then I'm gonna take my brush and just smooth it in and blend it with the rest of the hair. I'm gonna leave this side out and then work on this side. So I'm just gonna repeat the same exact thing. Just kind of section this little area off. And now that I know what I'm leaving out and not flattening, I'm gonna go ahead and section that off and put it out of the way for now. So let's get that wet with some water. Add a little bit of the cream, a dollop of gel. I honestly don't think I'm gonna need that much gel because that cream is really heavy and I'm sure I am adding way too much, but you know what? That's kind of what I was going for with this look, so that's okay. And then smoothing this area down with the pomade. Okay, so it's all really shiny and wet. I hope this dries the same way. All right, so let's work on the last section here. I'm gonna get this all wet first. And I want this all to kind of blend in. It's like I want it to be flat, but I don't want it to be too flat. I'm thinking maybe I even wanna like do a little comb over here. That might look better. Yeah, I think this is the style I'm going for. So I'm gonna add more of the super stretch just to the section. I'm not gonna put too much on my roots because this is the area I don't want it to be so flat that you can just see scalp, which you're probably going to anyway, but I'm gonna do my best to blend it in. So I think I'm gonna wear this side behind the ear, add some more gel. I don't necessarily want this to be super scrunched. I think it looks a little better. I am not going to put the edge control on the roots here. I'm just gonna leave that alone, but I will be smoothing down my edges. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I use the Blueberry Bliss control paste on my edges. I forgot how good this is. I love it. I went ahead 
and slick that down. So, so far I really like the way this is looking, but just to ensure that my curls aren't going to spring up, I'm going to use these duckbill clips and just kind of clip them on the ends to um, hold the curl down. So I'm going to clip here just to help weigh it down. Add another one here at the ends. I'm just making big chunky sections here. Okay, so now that my hair is all clipped, I'm going to go ahead and let this dry and I'll be right back. I'll be dressed. I might even put on a red glossy lip because I just feel like that would be the cherry on top. Okay, so I'm back. As you can see, I put on that bright red glossy lip. Um, I'll link down below what it is. I think it's Estee Lauder Hot Cherry Lip Lacquer. Um, I really love it just for this look. Um, and I put on a little top just to kind of set the mood. Um, but my hair is dry and I know it doesn't look like it's dry, but it kind of is. I'd say it's like 95% dry. There just might be a couple of patches here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and unclip these. And you can see it's very scalpy. I think I might just kind of do a tiny bit of shaking, but not too much. Because that's the look we're going for. And my hair does look really shiny still. Let me just do a little massaging. So it's not super flat and too scalpy. This is definitely wearable for the fall, but it is such a summer look with the glossy skin and the glossy lips and the glossy hair. I really love it and I wish I had somewhere to go, but I gotta go to bed and get these kids down right now. So this makeup's coming off. I mean, who knows what's going to happen with the hair. I might just go back in a bun. And I hate to waste a good hairstyle, but that's the reality of my life right now. So so I didn't end up using the scarf. thought I might need to, but to be honest, that super stretch from Diva Curl was really what weighed down my hair. And of course, the gel really ad added the shine and kept the hold there. I would love to get your feedback now on this. Are you going to try the wet look on your fine curls? Please let me know down below in the comments. If you have tried this before and you use a different combo of products, also let me know that because I'd love to try this again with some other products. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.